God threw you in jail. The Creator threw you in jail to save you from yourself. Hex and Caicos, stuck in a jail somewhere with the Greek guy named Alecos. In the spaces, they say you know bueno. They caught you in the club out in Miami sniffing yayo. Ayos mio. When you gonna get bailed out of the jail cell? Cause at night it's mucho frijo. Hex and Caicos. Hex and Caicos. How you gon' win if you I never just, took a loss? I Fatigues just, for a year straight, I, I never just, took them off. Right. Still went and dropped 30 stacks on the cross. You can catch me coming down Linux Ave in the Porsche. Uh, for them to hold me back and probably just, take a nation. Uh, just, they don't really know what's the I hate, is the motivation. Yeah, the money gon' come, you just gotta be overpatient. Like shooters on deck, my nigga, I know the Haitian. Because they didn't follow capitalism. Um, uh, so yes, uh, I, I quite like your point there. Uh, Gary, because the the guys the guys that are now saying uh, you know we only we are only going to have one coin, you better follow my coin, or you better follow the three coins I like. Um, those those guys are the are the communists. They're the Russians. <laughs> they're, the, they're the Soviet Union in this in this analogy, um, and it's not going to end well for them. Whereas, yeah, if we follow capitalism, if if we have a bunch of cool useful stuff, like I'm hoping that much better developers than me will come to Pulse Chain soon. That's that's my hope. You know what I mean? I, I hope there's like, you know, cutting edge, cool shit being built on Pulse Chain, uh, you know, in a, in a year's time. Right. You know, I, I can't wait for more competition to come. Honest to God, I just fucking hope they come. That's, that's... what's going on, everybody. It's your host of Crypto Wonder. Let's get right into it. Hope you're doing well. You know what's crazy? Y'all bought into everything your man Buck was talking about. And possibly has been talking about. I stopped entertaining anything and everything he's about. Especially after after members in the group exposed his insider telegram. Uh, exclusive insider group that he had going on. But y'all, for the most part, bought into so much of what he was promising the world. You don't have to agree with me. Well, why should you agree with me? And those who disagree... Well, it's interesting for you to disagree, then that means you would deny the millions of dollars of sacrifice funds that people donated to everything Buck was promising and selling to people. You see? I never... Back in 22, when I first started hearing, see, I used to support uh, coins like Icosa. So I would be in the Icosa chat room, and there were these constant voice chats relative to Icosa taking place, right? And this one person would come on the chat and basically glaze buck and talk about oh this guy you know he, he's talking about some good things that you know they know this person saying you know he knows that they can't really shill other coins in the icosa chat but he just has a great feeling about this guy buck he doesn't know that you know he's probably gonna end up sacrificing for buck's projects and all these things and i'm like You know, at the same time, again, like a dog has four legs and walks only one path. So there's only so many things I could be, uh, you know, as far as uh, uh, involved with. Because I can't be involved with a bunch of different things because I'll end up doing nothing, right? You, you distract yourself among a bunch of different coins 
And then something is going to suffer or many things are going to suffer because you can't focus on everything. So I never really looked into this buck business. <clears throat> this was back in 22, right before Pulse Chain launched. We were still in the sacrifice phase back then, right? And so, you know, I was hearing, and, you know, looking through the timelines and you'd see, you know, screenshots. This guy, you know, the avatar alone, you know, a person's avatar, it's what it is. You could use whatever you want to represent yourself online. So I'm looking at, you know, the avatar of a, a person in black, black face with some type of fedora hat, a cane, looking like they d finished doing a tap dancing routine, right? And just the face and the stance, like kind of like the logo or the image that he would use to sy symbolize or represent him, you know, seemed like a black character, right? It wasn't until maybe right after Pulse Chain launched that I really... I started to hear more of him online, right? And people would share spaces and things that he would talk on Twitter spaces, like his voice. I'm listening to his voice, and his voice was not matching, was not matching anything, anything he was doing online. That's why I'm showing the world that he could possibly be a black person who's supporting whatever they have going on in the pulse chain ecosystem right so that i found that to be a little bit strange right but you know <clears throat> his sacrifices the projects the specific projects that he launched you know like the gmx fork by way of the exchange they have some balancer fork these coins that these projects that encourage lending, these these projects that encourage leverage trading and, and you know and even investing in, in, in a basket of coins so that you can, you know, earn yield and this weird stuff that he was doing, right? To me, it just seemed like he took an opportunity. Once he saw a window of opportunity, he just grabbed onto it. And what do I mean by window of opportunity? How many times have we heard your man Richard Hart talk about he wishes somebody can short hex. He wishes someone can just create something to short hex. Please short hex. This and that, that and this. So, of course, of course, in my mind, I'm just speculating because I don't know Buck, don't care to know him. He probably saw an opportunity and said, ah, okay first movers advantage we're going to do x y and z look at something that's already been working on ethereum we're going to fork that meanwhile what's crazy is i'm sure since everything was duplicated onto pulse chain from ethereum there's already balancer there's already gmx there's already ave on on pulse chain it's just you know a matter of, I guess, I don't know, creating a user interface so that people who use the protocols on Ethereum can also use them on Pulse Chain. But what happens is now you have a copy of a copy that was supported through crowdfunding by people throwing money at them in the sacrifice phases, right? So it's just opportunity. It was just an opportunity that was ripe for the picking, in my opinion, that Buck took advantage of. And off the sensibilities and the minds of people who were just impressionable. That's what it looked like to me. Like, I mean, you, you, you guys. So in other words, I'm saying to myself, okay. In the spirit of being an entrepreneur, in the spirit of being a keen, keen savage when it comes to, right? Uh, 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 uh taking over uh, an idea or taking control of a situation so that you can get to the market first before everyone else he did that he and whoever he works with did that successfully just by getting the monies raised the millions of dollars raised that was a success the millions of dollars that were raised in the sacrifice projects in the sacrifice period that alone was a success because back in the days in 2017 and 18 with the ICO phases, so many ICO uh, 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 
projects came and went. Why? They didn't even launch. Once the people gave them the money, they were not incentivized to deliver any promise, to deliver any project on the promises that they were selling people that they were selling to the people because they received the money. All right? These guys took it a step further to then present something. And it's so crazy because even people in the community, not only did they launch something, but did, did they launch whatever they launched? Was it really equivalent to millions of dollars that was raised? You know, I've even heard, like, how much does it cost to, to, to you know, create a DEX? Some people speculate from 50 to 100K, right? Like, these numbers matching and compare that to the millions of dollars that were raised. That just, I mean, what could I say? What could I say? Don't hate the player, hate the game, right? Right. The the issue for me with with your man Buck became a little bit it, it, it was just like, okay, this is this guy's just I mean, he's just completely full of himself and he's an antagonist and this is what, you know, it's like that's his personality. He wants to stir shit up, or you know, create some type of drama. Try to be condescending, right? Speak as if he's, you know, you know, pontificating and want to be extra verbose. Meanwhile, people who could see right through him understand the double talking, fork tongue nonsense that he's spewing, right? When he got on the Pulse Chain, Pulse Nation stream last summer, and I want to say in July. And the guys that night, it was a late night, it was a barbershop type, not barbershop, but basically a late night stream for Pulse Nation. And, you know, Buck was there, his 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 guy was there, and, and you know, the panel, it was a panel on the stream. And then, you know, one of the members of Pulse Nation, Disciple, you know, really started to just be candid and honest, brutally honest with what he felt about, you know, things that are going on in crypto and with respect to people launching projects etc etc and how sometimes people are not forthcoming as they should be right they 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 tell people things that are not really what they're about they hide they're like wolves in sheep's clothing and that based on certain experiences that you've had you know in 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 as you were growing up as a child you understand the mind of a hustler, right? You understand of someone who's trying to be a conniving type of scoundrel. He's not even calling them that, but he's just putting it out there, out on the table, having a discussion, right? Everyone loved the discussion because, uh, uh, you know, Disciples personality and this messaging was, was very entertaining. I mean, Buck and, 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 and his guy were laughing, right? It was entertaining. Great stream. To the point where even at one point, Buck got off the stream and issued a, a super chat and said, the disciple for president. I think it was like $99. I don't know if it was in denominations of U.S. or another currency, but it was 99 something something disciple for president because the stream was that entertaining. And at that point, I looked at Buck in a certain light and I said, OK, because the issue also the, the pushback and the difference started to appear with ideology, because the gentlemen during the day, they had two streams that they invited Buck to speak on the same day in a daytime stream. The question came up with, you know, predictions. And how do you think, you know, asking them, how did what, what was their predictions on how well Pulse Chain would perform and. You know, the numbers that Buck was talking about was 10, 20 X based on valuations. It would only do a 10, 20 X and things like that. And he received pushback even from another member of uh, uh, Pulse, the Pulse Nation Collective, ATX, you know, basically challenged him with data to 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 disprove or, or basically debunk Buck's stance. And that was during the daytime. So the nighttime, here we go with more of, you know, the the interactions with Buck and this and that. But this this is the point where I started to now hear more of Buck, his personality, you know, his thoughts and and and, and things that he's doing, you know, as a as a 
as a project manager or project promoter, as a project founder in the community, right? Soon after those that day came and went, he got on a seven-hour stream, a seven-hour space is talking about an elephant that was absent in the room, the elephant that was no longer in the room, meaning Richard Hart, who, who was not as vocal as he once was before Pulse Chain launched, right? He, Richard wasn't doing the streams, and he was just basically on Twitter, but not didn't have as big of an online presence. And so Buck decided to hold this stream, host the stream, host the spaces, and talk about to all the people in the community that were listening to corral project founders and project builders and developers and promoters and and have them understand that Pulse Chain was almost like in a state of crisis and that everyone who was present on the call who are leading, who are building, who are developing projects, who are founders of projects needed to come together to lead Pulse Chain into the promised land. I don't even know what, what, what the purpose of it all was, right? But what I'm saying is it was in that seven hour stream because I caught it. I caught it, not the entire seven hours, but I caught on two different occasions during that seven hour stream where Buck decided to mention to the, to the, to the listeners that there was a group of people who support RH coins solely, identifying them as being maxis, right? RH maxis. And it was those maxis that the leaders in that seven hour call, that seven hour spaces, were supposed to go against. And not only go against, but go against them, go against the RH maxis that who were deemed toxic who are deemed doing things in bad faith. And as a result, they need to break the maxis. They need to break them, right? Ever since I heard that come out of that man's mouth, like me personally, I lost total respect, total respect for him, total respect. Because see, I don't know what the disconnect is. I don't know what the fear is about. When people just think that just because someone likes certain coins, it's as if they need to be eradicated or they need to be dismissed. Because the thought is this. This is the flip side. This is what this is how they twist and spin narratives, right? Because you're identified as an RH Maxi, for example. They add and they try to imply and infer, not in, no, actually try to imply that you are against, because you're RH Maxi, you are 100% against everything else, right? That you being 100% against everything else will impede progress. Meanwhile, meanwhile, how has that helped crypto? How has being 100% maxi affected cryptocurrency as an industry since Bitcoin's early days in 2009? How has the, 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 the maximalist position of a Bitcoin maximalist deterred and stifled and stunted growth for cryptocurrency since 2009. How effective has the take of a maximalist, of a Bitcoin maximalist, have done to block innovation, to block and cancel growth? It's been completely ineffective. What makes you think is going to be effective for a person who just wants to hold on to RH coins and think, do you think a person who, who's of rational sound, sound mind who holds RH coins and just by holding RH coins, they're going to stop innovation? Do you think people will just not build, not develop, 
not program, not create, not code, not do you think it just stops? Has it stopped for Ethereum? Has it stopped for everything leading up to Ethereum and post Ethereum's launch? No, it hasn't. So see, this is the type of this is the type, this is what I mean by the spin, the spin narrative that folks like Buck and the like have introduced into this into this space. So that way, if you're not a thinking person and you don't practice some type of analytical critical thinking, you buy into whatever it is that they're telling you and believe it to be truthful when it's everything opposite of truth or honest. And they will be the first to say, they'll be the first to say, they meaning him and everything he represents will be the first to say that a person like myself is doing things in bad faith. A person like myself, let's say, who all I just talk about are RH coins, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, I'm doing things in bad faith. How much how much power, I mean, I should be honored for being such a powerful person for thinking of me of just having so much power. The fact that I just want to hold on to RH coins mean that means that every other builder will be banished from building on Pulse Chain. Wow, I'm so powerful. No human being is that powerful. It hasn't been effective for for Bitcoin. What do you what, what are we talking about? How many blockchains exist in this world? How many projects? How many communities? How many tokens? How many? How much type of code is just being innovated every day for the last 15 and a half years? Okay? Pulse Chain is still an infant. Pulse Chain has 15 years, 15 months, 15, 16 months in existence compared to all these other blockchains that are supported by their communities by the millions. You could tell on chain what's going on. Have the Bitcoin maxi stifled? any type of innovation cryptocurrency wide no so why do you think any other maxi of any other coin has the same power they do not it's not existent they're lies it's a fantasy it's just a way to create a story to have you believe believe that anything opposite of what they have going on is an antagonist and will be harmful to the growth of the project, right? They have not ever collectively addressed how Richard has felt documented regarding if it was up to him, he doesn't want anybody building on Pulse Chain, but he can't stop anyone from building on Pulse Chain, right? They've never really even addressed that directly. They would talk about it while he hasn't been, uh, you know, vocal or as present online they would talk about it in you know the last 15 months talking against them talking about the chain talk about the pulse x talk about this and all that and how you know now folks are saying you know if no one builds it's a zombie chain but this is the same founder who said what he said to builders and no one checked him publicly openly vocally but this is what we have here when the cats away the mice will play right and so you have individuals like Buck, who's also met his fair share of, of, of challenges, right, with other members in this community, you know, who I don't necessarily, I'm not a part of any other community of, of anything else as far as whatever, but throughout the last 15 months, he's created enemies, he's created opposition, he's created, uh, he generated a lot of hate. for reasons similar to what I've said and more. Dealing with the sacrifice, dealing with things that would even allegedly even be you rise to the level of, 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 of criminal activity. This is what other members in the community have accused these people of. Okay? Being a part of a group with him spearheading the part of the group. When you think about this guy, right? who was identified being owner of this, this insider exclusive, what I call Illuminati telegram group, under his leadership, with all, everybody listening and flocking there, and it would be a hundred people, and then that was exposed, right? That also opened the door for a great deal of scrutiny, for people to create content, for people to not only create content, but plaster 
their 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 activities, their online on chain activities, all over the internet, all over Twitter, to expose their questionable nefarious activities, right? I mean, it's gotten bad. It's gotten to the point where, even if if you could say folks are trolling, even if you could call Buck a troll, a racist troll who talks and 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 prances around the internet in blackface. That's why they would say racist, because even his own Caucasian brethren would say he's racist because of the way his energy, what he carries off, and the messages he delivers. Right? Even when. He would he would perform as such, whether you want to call it trolling or not, and trolling other people. Oh yeah, you would see tweets with law enforcement agencies like the FBI tagged multiple times, like the SEC. You know the governing the 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 regulatory body that's going after RH. Yeah, they would have been tagged too. They've gotten tagged. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, it's dirty and it's dark, right? And unfortunately, unfortunately, why do you think things have to rise to the level of, 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 of the state of affairs of where they are today, right? Right? Why does it even have to be that way? It got to a point ultimately, and I'm going to say this before I close, where, you know, his, it's like he's, I don't know, he's a funny individual, like he's tough online, but then when things get too hot, you ask for help. That's how he's uh, he's performed to me. Like he he'll give this braggadocious type of air of superiority when he has the podium to speak on. But then when people clap back, it, he, he sort of like he panics in a way. You can see the energy. Like he gets you know shake. He gets you know shooken up. Right? It's weird. And so. months after he you know I would say maybe months after that seven hour stream maybe into the beginning of this year months after months later he said something online to almost like kind of like show that he's supporting Richard Hart meanwhile he was one to also be very vocal and critical and going against Richard Hart and talking crazy about staking and not understanding how the T-share rate can help the price of X go up, allowing other builders and other developers who created derivative tokens to buy into Buck's narrative. E meanwhile, you you know you have people who created de derivative tokens for Hex agreeing with Buck and not understanding and, and, and believing that perhaps the T-share rate can improve the price of Hex. Not understanding how the price of Hex can go up with the T-share rate. And you have a developer who created a derivative token agreeing with Buck. A derivative token of Hex actually agreeing with Buck. You want to talk about PSYOP, you hear that all the time, right? It is just interesting. So Buck, uh, you know, would come to, you know, I guess he would have like maybe this, I don't know if it's an internet bipolar moment or, or whatever, just like, you know, he wants to do things out of, you know, be, you know, weird and jest and, and sort of like disrespect and then say, well, I'm still a, I'm still a supporter. You want to say bad things about the decks. You want to say bad things about Richard. You want to, you know, completely criticize Pulse Chain, but you want Pulse Chain. Got to a point where he just said something like, oh, yeah, you know, you support Richard and something, something, something of the fact. Then I asked him on Twitter, what is it that you meant about breaking that you and your leaders on a seven hour stream need to go after the toxic maxis and break them? You know what his response was? He said something to the effect of, nah, that doesn't even sound like anything I would say. That doesn't even make sense for me to say something like that. Why would I say something like that? Like, 
And when he did that, let me tell you, folks, <laughs> I, I, I actually thanked him for showing me who he really is. You know, that was just what he did was reveal to me that he ain't about nothing. Outside of whatever he got going on, he don't care. He'll tell you that he wants Pulse Chain to succeed. No, he wants his fame, his recognition, right? He wants his personal glory. And it doesn't matter who gets stepped on or who gets affected or whatever, impacted adversely or positively. If it's a positive thing, then that's a win. But adversely, he doesn't even care. Because you couldn't even admit as a man as an adult, as a man, who cares? You don't know me from anything, but at least be truthful because you said something on the internet that many people heard. You're already hiding in blackface or somewhere, somewhere remote or whatever. doesn't matter because, okay, you could say I'm doing something and I'm not showing my face, but this is the internet. I've shown my face years before, especially when I first started streaming and it's still online. My whole point is, he couldn't even tell the truth as a man and say, yeah, I did say that and explain why, explain the reasoning. Just take ownership, but wants to be critical about so many other things, right? Wants to talk down and condescend and be sarc sarcastic and speak as if he's superior and everyone else is, is inferior. And the ecosystem that supported him by throwing him millions of dollars. Where now you're in a position where, I mean, come on, folks tagged you along with the FBI. I'm not making this up. It's not alleged. For for activities that people question, and not only question, folks have even, you know, said that, hey, you know, you're involved with like illegal, fraudulent, criminal activities with everything he got going on. Huh? Couldn't even, uh, you know, uh, uh, admit that he said that so he lost my respect lost my respect and see these are the things that I do this sort of like to create a a file if you will and not even a file but just to basically document back in the days I used to make fun of people who said document my journey in crypto, I'm here to document my journey. And I used to make fun of people who said that because I just, the sound of it just didn't ring well to me. But they're not lying. I understand it too. And I still learn from the past if I really look back and learn from young people hmm, who say certain things because this right here is, I'm leaving it right where it is because it's gonna remain on the internet. For those who care enough in the future to want to look back and do some research and they could see oh wow look at what took place here with this 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 that and this yeah because i'm not I, I i don't join a fan club in a sense where i'm just like glazing people and, and and right cheering people on who don't seem to have everyone's best intentions on who who behave in ways that are sketchy and 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 want nothing but absolute support from the community and accolades and I'm not a I'm no one's fanboy at all and at the same time I'm still going to identify weird behavior that has an indirect and direct impact on everything I have going on in this crypto space because what I do also affects people I care about because they're involved as well too and so when I see some weird stuff going on by some other people, it's not about being a communist. This is another type of spin that these people bring up. They'll tell you that, oh, they don't want builders. They don't want people to make money. No, it's not about that. We don't want folks to get fleeced. I don't. That's what I say, we. And we and people who I care about in my real life. I'm not trying to encourage people to get into a situation to end up losing their money because they were messing with people like you. They were messing with people like you and dealing with what you got going on. And so now they're experiencing hurt. How many people really received a return on investment from the projects you've launched so far? 
how many people have had great experiences from the projects you've launched so far? And I'm talking about in mass. Out of all the millions of dollars that was donated, did that same value get returned to the hands of the people who received the airdrops? Huh? Huh? And you want to know something? It's crazy. Because it's just like, it, it, I mean, you can't make this up. But if you, if you just hold on to RH, and this is all you support about, or whatever, whatever, you're considered some kind of fake communist, socialist, nonsense rhetoric. Because that's all it is, rhetoric. Right? To deceive, to confuse, and to dupe you out of what's really important. Because in a Western society, this is run by capitalism, which is about making things for profit. That's why you have your man Richard fighting these people to avoid passing the Howie test, right? Fighting these people so that all of these things that he created are not securities, right? So that all these things are that, that he created, we have a choice that we can use free from 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 any regulatory over, oversight and 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 uh, uh, encroachment, right? Yeah, it's not about communist nothing. These are ad hominems that folks hurl, right, to create division, to create dissension, to try to conquer you mentally. Don't allow them to conquer you mentally. Don't allow them to play with you. Especially for all y'all that gave them the money already. I don't know. There's lessons to learn in every situation. That's all it is. And that's all I'm going to say. To be continued. Take care. Ladies and gentlemen. Time's collapsing. The money is magic. Checking code. Making sure that the math passes. They show their asses in order to steal assets. Expose snake sackers when we cut these crypto grasses.